uh, yeah, I know a couple of those guys. Do you know much about them as a team? I mean, I know they like to drive a lot, but I, I haven't really watched them this year, so I'll be looking forward to the film. Dwayne, for uh, for Coach Ham, what do you think it kind of means to him to, to be able to um, have a team back in the tournament? Oh, I think he's very excited. Uh, he haven't, we haven't had a team before staying in the tournament since 2012. You know, he won the ACC championship, so I mean, I think he's has a lot of energy right now. He's ready to get you know things rocking again. Um, I don't think we're gonna waste no time uh, without going through film on those guys. Uh, every game is you know a win to go home now, so we just gotta lock in and, and get things done. For people that you know have things to say about coach and saying you know may, he might not be the right fit, and for you guys to be as successful as you are this season, what do you think that kind of means to him? I mean, he, he's a guy that tunes out a lot of noise. You know, he, Unfortunately, we hear it, but it's, it's, it's nothing that we buy ourselves into that just because he's been our coach all year and we had an amazing year. He went, we went from you know, 12, 13 in the ACC last year to two this year, so I mean, nobody really knows what coach goes through and what he, you know, how he coaches us. We feel like he coaches us the right way. He led us to this point where we're in the tournament again. We have great talent. Now it's for us. It's not like he can play for us. We just got to go out and play our game like we have all year. How excited do you get to stay in state playing Orlando? Uh, I'm very excited. Um, for me, it's kind of like a home game. Lakeland is definitely not that far from Orlando, so it was definitely exciting to be probably half, if not my whole family, will probably be there. So it's definitely an exciting moment, but it's bigger than just you know the family being there. Uh, we want to actually win this thing and uh, see what we can do in it. We feel like we can make a deep run. I saw your hand uh, taped up before the last game. Was it, did you have an injury? Or? Uh, it wasn't an injury. It's, I don't know what happened to it, but I woke up that morning and it was very, very swollen. Uh, I had to tape it up to relieve some stress or the pressure on it so it can kind of go down. And I iced it all that day. And it was still kind of swollen the game one before I started the game, but after once I got it on the and stuff, I was able to take the tape off and just you know find a group. How is it now? Is it? You think it's good? Yeah, it's you? I think it's definitely you know 100 back to normal. It's not sore anymore. Um, there's no injury. It's nothing that I had to you know get an X-ray for and stuff like that. It's just you know something that was minor and I, and I treated it well. On the uh, selection show, I don't know if you guys could hear it when you were watching it, but they were already saying, "Oh, Florida State's on upset alert already." And yeah. you feel like team still people are still kind of doubting Florida State. Oh yeah, definitely. I feel like they're always going to doubt us just because. We haven't did so of what they thought we should be doing in the last, you know, couple of years. So I feel like they're always going to doubt us. But I mean, like I said, they don't know what we've been through. They don't know how how good our team is. Uh, we went 25 and eight this year. So I mean, you know, people are going to say what they want they want to say. But when our record speaks for itself, and, and the games we won, I mean, how how much more can you not respect a team like that? Is this like just some? I think this will be a good up tempo game because you guys like to run. Oh, yeah, They've I, got the Dunk City mentality. I think, yeah, I think it will. Um, we, we just can't come out and take those guys for granted. That's, that's a good team. They're in the tournament. So you got to look at it as, as, as if it's the number one team in the country, and that's how we're going to do it. Is this one of the reasons why you came back to have a chance to play in the NCAA oh, tournament? Definitely. This is definitely one of the major reasons I came back. I wanted to get a feel for the NCAA tournament this year. It's finally. You know, a chance I get a feel. I mean, it's my second year, so I got plenty more years to you actually get a feel. But this year, I wanted to get a feel for not only me, for the team, for the seniors, for the coaches. They haven't done it in a while. Our seniors get to leave on, you know, a tournament appearance. Those guys are very, very excited. They haven't made the tournament since they since they've been here, and it's been a long four years for those guys. So we're just happy that we can make it happen. I think you said last year from NIT that you either didn't want to see any NCAA tournament games because it was, it was painful or, yes. or you watched a couple and they were painful. Can you? Uh, I definitely didn't want to watch just because I thought we should have been in the tournament last year, so I definitely didn't want to watch. Um, probably not going to watch this year because I want to focus on our team and what we have in front of us. I feel like if we take it one game at a time and just be patient with everything, it will be fine.